Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler is addressing violent protests downtown, including this one from two weekends ago. He just got back into town, so this is the first time we've heard from him about this. He says violence can't be tolerated, but as KGW's Lindsay Nadrich reports, he wasn't specific about what exactly will change. This latest protest isn't the first time we've seen fights break out on the streets of downtown Portland. We continue to have some of the same people coming into our community to commit acts of violence. But even knowing a small group of people come ready to fight hasn't been enough to stop it. That's why Mayor Wheeler says things need to be done differently. He's calling for civil rights activists, business owners, and community leaders to come together to figure out a solution. But he stopped short of giving specifics and instead said there are many on the table that need to be discussed. One of those ideas, banning face masks during protests. That's something Portland Police Chief Daniel Outlaw suggested last week. The ACLU and the Council on American Islamic Relations are just two organizations raising constitutional concerns about the idea. I think that the Bureau has fundamentally not understood how to properly counteract these groups. And instead, upon, instead of relying upon proper authoritative sources, um, they're just trying to create new things without understanding the implications for what that will have for other people. I asked the mayor his thoughts on banning masks. He said he's not ready to take a stance. I want to hear more about it. I certainly heard it uh, during the press conference. I heard some constitutional and potential legal questions that were raised. I want to have the opportunity to meet with her and work with her uh, on her perspectives on it. So I, I'm not ready to have a position on it today. Chris Shortell, an associate professor of political science at PSU, says there are about 15 other states that have laws banning masks. The origins of these laws are with the KKK and the fear that wearing the hood of the KKK created in the public. That's what's justified these laws in other states and other jurisdictions. Shortell says laws like this are a tricky balance of protecting the public and protecting free speech. He said laws in other states ban masks only when they're being worn with the intent to intimidate someone. That's what courts around the country have found when they have upheld these kinds of laws. He says Oregon, though, already has extensive free speech protections that are broader than any other state. So he doubts something like this would succeed here. Lindsay Nadrich.